Yo Gofgang, what is up? It's Bishop and welcome to the church. So, today, by the way, I haven't filmed in over a month, so I'm really excited and feel really weird. Uh, so I'm sorry if I'm being a fucking weirdo. <laughs> but today we've got a haul video and, well, is it still classed as a haul video if you didn't pay for it? Some really awesome brands that I found on Instagram have sent me some really cool stuff to show you. I'm gonna assume it's still called a haul. So we've got a haul and I'm gonna try stuff on for you because I don't like hauls without try-ons. I feel like you need to see the stuff on someone. So I'll be doing all that good shit. Don't worry about it. We're gonna do three different brands. We've got two gothic brands, uh, Kill Coven and Cemetery Swag. Such fucking good names, man. And I think you guys will really fucking love them. So I was so excited to get to work with them. And then we've got a sort of uh, Japanese style um, clothing brand. They sort of like sell Harajuku street fashion and like kawaii stuff as well. Uh, they're called UV Me, you guys might have heard of them. They sell wigs and stuff as well. Um, so we've got a couple of items from them to do at the end here. I'm sorry if you could hear that car. Stop polluting the world. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Let's kick off. I want to start with, uh, oh, actually, while I'm here, uh, I just did an Instagram post because there's another cool new Instagram company. See, you guys keep asking me about other brands instead of Killstar, so that's why I'm doing this shit. Um, yeah, there's another Instagram company who have literally just started called Horny and Sad, who made this really cool t-shirt. And then when you flip it up underneath, this is a bit dodgy, isn't it? It says, fuck me, I'm sad. My cute look and my t-shirt and stuff, that was all inspired by this today and I just posted about it. So go check them out as well if you're always horny and sad like I am. Let's start off with Kill Coven. They've sent me the most stuff. They sent me like a care package, like a whole box. And since it got here, I've been so excited to film this video. Um, I haven't like tried any of this stuff on, worn any of it, nothing. Um, I opened this box up just to see how much was in there, but I haven't looked through it all properly um because i wanted to do that on camera for you guys so here is the box there is graffiti kill coven there which is really cool it's a pretty big box it's on the front there too in fact let's open it up for you guys so we've got a lot of stuff in here i couldn't actually get it all back in once i had opened it so it doesn't look very good i'm very sorry i'm gonna put this down on the floor and then just pick up items out of it for you guys um so on top here we've got little black uh bubble wrap baggy with a coffin on how goth whoop little everything seems really like um homemade and like self-done which i really really love like i really appreciate the time gone into it so there's this little paper coffin box which I will definitely reuse that they have done kill coven in shiny silver and that font is sick their logo is awesome um, so inside of here we have black mesh bag um, these are some necklaces that I saw they do on the site and I'm really glad they sent me a pink one because I really wanted a pink one they also do them in black um, I think those are the only colors and it's just a big razor blade on a big chain. I would love this in black as well, but I just like the juxtaposition of the, the, the juxtaposition, <laughs> sorry guys, I can't talk, uh, of like the, like the hard big chain and the razor blade and then it being pink. I think that's just really cute. And it's very like sad boys, you know what I mean? Let's pop that back in its little coffin house this would be really good for keeping jewelry in actually maybe rings or something um this is a little bit hard to show on camera but obviously you'll see it when it's on um oh also side note they've got their own little coffin shaped that's the website for you guys yeah coffin shaped tags really fucking cute um and their stuff is branded on the inside as well Love it. So this one is actually a dress. It's 
got spaghetti straps and it just says goth in big gothic font which I fucking love especially considering people don't think I'm goth so that's even more funny um, and it's super super tight and it's ruched all the way down so it'll be like very very short very form-fitting um, it's quite like 90s I think which is weird because I'm not normally super about that aesthetic but I'm getting I'm getting more into it it's cool um, but yeah, I'm so excited for that one. And on the website, that one looks gorgeous on. So I can't wait. I popped the necklace on with this look so you guys could see what it looked like on. Um, it's really, really sturdy. I definitely don't think this is going to break anytime soon. The length of it's really cute. Uh, it's adjustable because the clip can fit in any of the chain links. So you can wear it shorter if you want to. This is the longest length. Um, <laughs> so this is what the dress looks like on. It's really, really tight, obviously. It's super comfortable. Um, it squishes my butt in, which is a good thing, to be honest. It doesn't look as ludicrous. Uh, the only issue I have is it's a bit tight on the boob area. But to be honest, I, it looks cute. Like, whatever. Uh, here are the straps. They're really small. They don't really do much, to be honest. Like, I don't think I could wear it without a bra. Um, but even though it's this tight. But yeah, I do think it's really cute. And I think the bra showing isn't an issue. Um, I really love it overall. And I'm so glad that they sent me it. I think it looks adorable. And then we've got... <gasps> this is so cute. Okay, so they must be using gel pens because this one is pink. Um, and there's pink on the top, so that's really cute. So again, it's like a spaghetti strap and this one's a crop top. It's really tight. And in sort of like a, you know, death metal font here. It actually says rotting and it has sparkles. I just love things that are pink and cute, but also like death metal rotting times. Like that's that's me. That's perfect. And these do actually look small enough to like be tight, which is good because often when I get things that are supposed to be like skin tight, then not really. Um, you know, sizing is weird, isn't it? So yeah, these look like they're gonna fit really well. The material is quite stretchy. Oh yeah, really stretchy actually. And it's very very soft. I'm really impressed by the quality of these, to be honest. Oh my god, guys, this is so cute. I love this one so much. So again, the straps don't really do much. Um, I definitely need to wear a bra with it. But if you had smaller boobs, you could probably get away with it. And again, it's, it's pretty tight around that area, but that makes it look cute. So it's definitely not a problem. Um, it's just simple on the back. Nothing special. It's so comfortable. The material of these is absolutely gorgeous. And the font is printed on there so nicely. You can definitely read it. Rotting. This is the last thing. And this is what, this is how I actually found their brand. I saw this on Instagram and wanted it so badly. So this is a big oversized hoodie with a chain link fence with a angel statue. And then it says goth angel in gothic font. And then on the sleeves, it just says, sad. Oh, that one's upside down. Oh no. Wait, I will find a way. Doing really well, aren't I? Just says sad in big letters and it's kind of gradiated from gray to white, which is fucking cool. And then the back, look at this tacky masterpiece. Look at it. That's like what I wish Spiral was. <laughs> like it isn't. There's a right way to do shit like this. And this is it. Like it's so tacky in such a perfect way. It feels very thick, like it'll be really warm and it's fleece lined. So that'll be sick for the winter. Um, I don't even know what time of year it is. Hi, I'm Jude, I don't go outside. But big hoodies in my life. So I'm super excited about that. I can't wait to try this stuff on. I'm so excited. Here's the hoodie on, guys. It is so comfortable. Uh, I love how baggy the sleeves are. You can still read the sad though, which is good. But uh, yeah, it's just, dude, it's, this is just one of the comfiest things I've ever worn. All the printing on it is so perfect. Like, oh, it's just so cozy. I was dying of heat filming this, by the way, just to let you guys know. But yeah, I think it's really fucking sick. It looks so cool. The sleeves are super long. Oh, 
it's just perfect like this is what you want the hood is really big as well um obviously i've got ears on which is dumb but you can see how big it is uh it's so super cozy um yeah and i know it's something really interesting i'm doing a shit job of showing it but it doesn't have a pull like string pulls to tighten the hood which i think is really cool that's all kill coven done it's the website again i will put the links for their websites down below um yeah i'm just i'm just in love with that stuff i'm so excited and i'm so they were so sweet literally i spoke to them on instagram and they were the cutest people ever um you know i just asked them if they wanted to to work together in any way and they were like yeah we'll send you a care package they were super excited about it and i'm just so happy that i got to work with them they're really fucking cool people um oh yeah i can't believe i almost forgot inside of the top of the box there was this note look how pretty it is i love stuff like this it says hi jude thank you for accepting our care package we hope you love everything because we picked it just for you if you ever have any complaints with anything just let us know and we'll send you a replacement right away with a little heart and then it says love kill coven look how cute it is i'm gonna keep this forever it's so sweet and aesthetic i appreciate how aesthetic they make everything cool and then next we've just got two items from cemetery swag but they've got loads of cool stuff so definitely check them out this cropped jumper that just says kill me with a smiley face this is i know everyone's gonna be like that's mood well yeah i just stuff like this just embodies my style like it's like it takes the piss but it's based off of like actual heartache right like it's just so good man and i love cropped jumpers i love cropped anything and i like the way this one is cropped i like it when sweaters are cropped like that so they like curl up you know like it's literally just sliced i think that's really cool but there's no hem oh guys the inside of this is so soft oh my god oh that's amazing I love that okay that's super soft that feels like it's going to be very very comfy indeed awesome here's this one on guys it's so comfortable i can't get over this stuff the fleece lining on the inside is just so soft it just feels so nice um and i really like the way it's tight across the chest but then the rest of it's really loose it creates a really cool silhouette especially from the side like i just showed you um oh and the arm test it doesn't show your bra so check check fucking love it oh i just realized i haven't told you the sizes of anything <sighs> that's a small okay yeah i got all the tight stuff from kill coven in a size small and i got the hoodie in an extra large which is what i normally do so and then the last thing from cemetery swag i got was this crop and it's so cute it just has a big noose on it I love this. I have a noose tattoo on the back of my left leg and it looks just like this. So I really like that they match. And I just think it's sick. Like, it's just a big noose. That's, that's perfect. Fuck yeah. And again, it's cropped in the same way. Like it doesn't have a hem, it's just sliced, which I really like. This one's definitely not gonna be skin tight. It's probably gonna be like a loose fitting crop, which is totally cute too. Um, but you guys will see that in the try on portion of the haul is this one on guys it is so super cute uh yeah the back of it's just plain just a simple crop t-shirt side silhouette's a little bit cool arm test is all good i might have to pull it down a little bit every so often seems to ride up a tiny bit but it's really not an issue it's super cute it's so nice to be filming again Cheers. So then we've got UV me. Um, I left these in the bag because I thought they were so cute. They're all pink and cute and funny. Yeah, so they say cute kawaii Harajuku street fashion, but the two things I got from them are very like dark streetwear aesthetic. Harajuku, but still like, you know what I mean. So I got their little tags are in the bag. Thank you. Um, yeah, so the first thing I got was this. 
Ooh, just throwing it around. This shirt. It does up like how I believe kimonos do up. Let me do it up and then I'll show you. It's the kind of thing where it's like a little toggle on one side and then a little loop on the other side. By the way guys, I'm sorry if I sound a bit weird. I know my throat's just got a bit worse, but um, I am recovering from tonsillitis again. And they won't take my tonsils out. Um, you have to have tonsillitis seven times in one year in the UK now to get your tonsils out on the NHS, which is ludicrous. But I'm on three already, so woohoo, look at me go. Maybe I'll manage it this year. Um, I also really need to cut my fringe, so please excuse me. But I'm liking this weird retro rolly business. Yeah, so it does up like that. It's like collarless. I think it's a really cool detail. I don't know if I'll wear it done up or undone. I think it could be quite cool undone as like an overshirt. But yeah, it's quite a weird material. It's not soft. Um, I'm trying to work out whether it's gonna be comfortable or not. But I'll let you guys know. It's kind of, this is a really weird, weird way to describe it, but it feels a little bit like a potato sack. Softer than that, obviously. It's like a really, finely woven potato sack. <laughs> Why do you watch me? Why is this allowed? Uh, but yeah, that's, that's exciting. Here is this one on guys. I really love the length of it and the fit of it. The length of the sleeves is cool and I love that it looks a bit like a pajama sort of shirt, if you guys get what I mean. I think that aesthetic's really cute. Um, I wanted to see what it would look like with the sleeves up. It's more of like a daytime -y cool situation. But uh, it wasn't overly comfortable was the issue. The material is weird like I said and it's not like the comfiest thing in the world. I think I might need to wear an undershirt. Uh, and the only other issue is this kind of thing. The little boob peak when I put my chest out but you know. And then this, Whoop. this is the last thing by the way guys, that face was attractive, mm. look how curved my fringe is, this is dumb. <laughs> These, oh okay, okay so these don't come assembled kind of so they're they're basically joggers like trackies with o-rings and lots of pockets and stuff but they look very short that's nice i'm five foot four and normally when i get trackies and things they're all way too long for me so these look like they'll actually uh, fit me so yeah basically they come with these straps I didn't know the straps wouldn't come attached, but that's fine. I can just take a couple minutes to put them on. Um, yeah, so they go round on the front and the back. They kind of look like braces, so they end up with a lot of strappy bits, which is really cool. I'm very much into that sort of, uh, like, Japanese streetwear, K-pop situation. <laughs> so I will attach these, and then I will show you what they look like. Okay, awesome. That took like two seconds and it was really easy. So they hang down the sides like that. And then on the back, I just attach like this. And they're really, really light, um, but they feel very sturdy, like they're not going to break at all. Um, oh, and the pockets are real. Yeah, the pockets are real. So that's awesome. Girls, you know what I'm talking about. Never get pockets. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for them. Um, I got these in a medium and I got the top in, I think the top was maybe one size fits all. So I can't find a tag in there with the size and I seem to remember it being one size fits all. So yeah, but I got these in a medium. Um, I think they have the measurements on the website and I worked out that I'd be a medium. So that's why I got these ones. 
here are the trousers on. Uh, this is interesting for me because I've only been getting into trousers recently. Uh, I, I literally own like three pairs now or something. Before this, I literally just wore skirts and, and dresses and leggings and shorts and shit. Um, these are so super comfortable. And I think the straps look sick. This is it's me attempting to show you the straps. So yeah, well done, Jude. Good oh. Yeah, they're super comfy and I don't think they look bad on me. I think they actually look really cool, which I was surprised at. Um, I'm really happy about actually. But uh, yeah, I mean, I think they look cute. I like them. And uh, check this out. Those pockets are real. These pockets are real. And even these pockets are real. Fucking magic. Thoroughly impressed, to be honest. Oh, look at me giving you sneaky extra things. <laughs> I thought I'd just chuck this on the end, kind of like do it into an outfit. Well, I'll put all the pieces together. Um, and so you can see this shirt undone as like an overshirt. I actually think this looks really sick. Uh, I really like the combination of all the things. I'd probably wear it with like big platforms and a snapback or maybe a beanie. Uh, I think it's a really cool way to kind of casually wear Harajuku street fashion in a goth sense. Yeah, so uh, I will have spliced all the try-on stuff in between each item here so you guys will be able to see what it all looks like on and we'll be able to tell whether I'm happy with it or not. Uh, I hope that I am. Yeah guys, so I will pop these businesses websites down below. Um, definitely make sure you go and support uh, Cemetery Swag and Kill Coven because it's so fucking cool to see new goth brands emerging and doing fun stuff. And especially if you're like me and you're like the whole fucking SoundCloud rap bullshit thing, then those brands really hit that, I think. So uh, it's it's the fucking combination. So I think definitely go check them out. Uh, it's really nice to support smaller brands as well as Killstar. So yeah, go go hit, hit them up and help them out and look cool doing it. I'm not, I have not been paid to say any shit. Uh, I just got sent the stuff for free. And I chose to do a YouTube video about it, so <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I wasn't told to say anything or do anything or, I, you know me, I would always be 100% honest with my opinions, even if everyone fucking hated me for it, so here we are. Hello, my name is Jude. <laughs> Leave me some new video suggestions down in the comments of what you guys want me to do. Um, I will definitely be doing a tattoo and piercing video soon and um, obviously more stuff like this will come along and I'll do more of my wardrobe Tory stuff like I was doing with the bag collection, more of that will be on its way. Um, I've got a cool like pastel gothy, uh, not necessarily a haul but like, well kind of, thing coming up so that's exciting and um, oh and also guys can you let me know, I know all my videos are like long like 25 minutes half an hour longer do you guys like that or do you want me to try and do some shorter ones because i always feel like if something's under like 20 minutes then it's not even content I, I don't feel like that about other creators but for myself i just feel like it's not i don't know i like having like an actual hearty hearty talk <laughs> with you guys but no um let me know what you think, if you want me to do some shorter videos as well, or if you like the long ones, or if you fucking always give up halfway, which is perfectly reasonable. Let me know. Uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, remember, you have been blessed.